Look at that, Oshkosh. Come on, make some noise for the folks of Opener and Black Last year in Hubbard, we were all amazed. This year, our pilot up there, Wyatt Warner, is going to show us the full demonstration for 2022. And I say for 2022 because the technology is advancing so quickly with this thing, Josh, that every single year it gets more and more impressive. Let's get Aeroshell out of the way, and then we're going to kick this thing up just a notch here. What kind of speeds are we going to see on this? So we actually are limited to 62 miles an hour. Um, we're more on the lower end. We can actually hold our position uh, fixed in the air at zero miles an hour if we want to. You can hover? Yep, yeah. We can go fixed in the air. All right, so we all thought the flying car was going to have wheels, but folks, it doesn't. This is going to be the grocery getter here in just a few more years. Mark my words. Imagine pulling up to the store in this thing. Look at this. What do you think of that? There's there's actually somebody asked me earlier, is there anybody in it? And there is a pilot. His name is Ryan Warren. He's inside. Can you all wave at him? Give him a big wave. There's actually some video that's running in the cockpit right now. And of course, the folks at Opener are going to share that on their social media feeds here after the show tonight. How cool is this, Air Venture? You know, if Matt Young could add one of these, he'd be flying to Dexter's ribs every single day. <laughs> All these air show folks are losing one of these right now. Look at this, Josh. As he's coming back, we're going to see some more dynamic maneuver. Right, so he's going to do uh, what I refer to as a hockey stop. So he's going to kind of leave the air, just basically stop in place, turn around really quick, and come back over the other way. Eight motors. Everything is redundant. There's even a ballistic parachute on board right now. So it's safe for everybody, right? That is correct. And you can learn to fly this in, what, just a few hours? Uh, I would say a few minutes, actually. Matt. Come on. <laughs> it took you a little bit longer. It took me a little bit longer, I'm not going to lie. It has two joysticks in it. Right now he's pulling the trigger, and then it just pitches up, and it's like sitting in an easy chair. He has absolutely... No forward visibility at this point. He's sitting on his back. What do you think of that? How cool was that pirouette? Now he's on his way back to Arianetti's. Get another root beer float down at the end of the runway. Doing about, I don't know, 30, 40 miles an hour. But you were talking about the redundancy on this thing, and it's really remarkable. Talk about all the systems. Yeah, so we have eight uh, individual motors. <laughs> Any one of those were to go out to the go Additionally, we have retail services, which kind of a combination of an aileron and an elevator, right? Elevons. Can you those go out? So on each wing. Yeah. And that, that stabilizer is actually developing quite a bit of lift for us. I mean, you can really feel it on the stick, but if you're right handed or left handed, it doesn't matter. You can fly a black fly. Which, by the way, here's the big question. When is it going to be available, right? Well, it's, it's it's soon. They are looking, I think, for some early adopters. So if you're interested, here's the deal. you got to go back behind us here to Opener's booth, right? It's right back there. They have a flight simulator set up in there where you can go and actually take a spin in the black fly. So you have to do that tomorrow, right, Oshkosh? You're going to go by and see him at Opener? I'm telling you. You're going to look really good on this. You know, you're out of half a pound of sugar or whatever you need to make that sweet tea back in Georgia. You get in the black fly and fly on down to the, to the grocery store to pick up whatever you need. Have you flown it yet, Josh? I know you're looking forward to it. Uh, it's in my near future right now. I've flown it quite a lot remotely. Here to base. Let's watch the transition here at land, it looks like. 
So what we're looking at here is a little wing wave. And it's, it can even fly in gusty winds. A lot of the testing is done down there on the coast. Uh, up to around 20 miles in the wind. Yeah, we almost never get weather as nice as this from land. We used to 15, 20 miles in the gusts. It's not a 